What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carbo Kane and we are back with a new product, Surging Sparks Relate, of course. It is what us Australians are probably called this one directly is the uh the Pikachu's collector cash or chest for 2024. Um I, I believe it's more commonly known as the four collectors chest. But we're in Australia, so that means absolutely nothing to us because we're at the back end of the year and it's basically summer. It is hot everywhere. Um and it's kind of funny, this particular product, I made a call on it a while ago. So there's a particular promo or like a variant in here that I totally called when we first un like cracked it in the previous set that would easily be a promo or a variant or some kind of McDonald's promo or something down the line. Now, let's get into this and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so this is our tin here, obviously, you know, probably a little, a little bit bigger than the thing. I mean, actually... This, this new kind of camera angle gives me a lot more to play with. So it's this particular promo right there, this Pikachu. I think it's, what set is it from? It's not too long ago, but I totally called it. So I'm pretty certain at this point, this Pikachu is obviously in this as a variant, a Cosmos, I'm assuming a Cosmos Hollow variant. And I'm pretty sure there's a Char Time variant as well. And I'm pretty glad because I was like, you know, obviously it kind of shows that I sort of know what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah. I also kind of got wind a little bit later on in the year. I can't imagine it's too far away because it's already been um, reported on some, uh, some news sites that McDonald's is going to be having a promotional run very soon. Um, I think there's quite a lot of Sword and Shield variants in there, but for those who are master setting, there's quite a few um, Scarlet Violet ones to kind of run around and collect. So in this little box, a little collector's chest, if you've done these before, you kind of know what to expect at this point. So there we go. We've got the Pikachu that I basically made a call on almost immediately upon cracking it as a common way back when from Temporal Forces. Then we've got the Diplin from Twilight Masquerade, and then this Ogre Pond here, I'm pretty sure is also from uh, Twilight Masquerade. Yes, okay, so we've got two Twilight Masquerade variants that you'll need for your Master Sets, if you're going for all the variants, and the Pikachu from Tempora Forces. So, and also it comes with a pretty, actually a really cool looking Terrapagos coin. That's, geez, that is... <laughs> They're getting better. That one feels a lot bigger than the usual coin too. I don't know if I have a coin lying around here to compare, but it feels... It looks bigger than the usual, but let's chuck that to the side. And then onto the main course. Let me get these out of the way. Main course of the tin. We've got one Surging Sparks, two Surging Sparks, and then two more Stellar Crowns. Oh, we've got three Stellar Crowns. And one Twilight Masquerade, as if just to tease me right now. <sighs> you will not get that Greninja. And then you've got your sticker, your sticker sheets. Let me see, you got your Terrap Ghost, all that kind of stuff. Bigger, I didn't know Ogre Pond looked like that. It's kind of cool. Um, another bigger Terrap Ghost one, and then the bigger Pikachu one. So pretty standard stuff there, is what to expect in these chests. And then you've got your little Pikachu single card binder. Um, obviously one card per thing, just ultra personal little portfolio, I guess. And then obviously nothing else. Relatively simple product, kind of cool to have to the side, but mainly I would suggest the only people that would be buying this product are the ones that are looking for the variants. I probably wouldn't be buying them four packs per se but you know that's where we're at so two surging sparks three stellar crown and one twilight masquerade so let's just put these here just as a we're hoping that we get a hit or two out of these because my last couple of videos haven't been that um haven't been that gravy so you know what, let's start with the set that isn't going to give us pain if we get nothing which is stellar crown Obviously, we finished Stellar Crown very, very, very early into the set release. Wasn't so painful. Could have been painful, or a little bit painful anyway, had I had not gotten the Terrapagos uh, SIR during a pre-release event. 
So the fact that I actually got that during that event, that's when I kind of knew that, all right, we're going to have a much easier time than I usually do when it comes to completing sets. So I looked forward to completing it and, you know, everything else kind of fell in line. Uh, that being said, by this point in time, the Surging Sparks, in theory, it's relatively complete, but also, in reality, we need Pikachu, Hydreigon, and what's the last card? Because I've got everything else, it's just, it's three alt hearts. I can't remember the last one, I always forget it. Pikachu, Hydreigon. Oh, I can't remember, it's on the tip of my tongue. We've got the Milotic, and we've got no hits out of our Stellar Crown pack, so feels bad. Um, <laughs> my luck with these things, I haven't, I haven't been able to pick up my luck at all. Uh, let's leave the Surging Sparks to last and get the Twilight Masquerade. What is it? I don't think it's a trainer card. It has to be a Pokemon. It has to be a Pokemon. Latias. There we go. So, sadly, probably like the three most expensive ones in the set. <laughs> Latias, Hydreigon, and Pikachu. So, it's been good luck, but also bad luck. All right, nothing out of Twilight Masquerade. Obviously, like I said before, I don't think you buy these products for hits. If you're buying these products for hits, then you're kind of you're kind of hyping yourself up to get disappointed. But I needed at least one tin so that I could get my variants out of them for my sets. That being said, if I see them on special, I might as well grab one. Just the thing, because you never know. Maybe the magic has died. I need, I need Santa Claus to bring me a new, a new set of luck. All right, so we've got an A spec scramble switch and nothing. So, you know, we can, at least we can use this. Yeah, we used it. <laughs> Alright, last packet. Obviously a very quick video for today. Straight down to business. No messing around. Pray that we get something out of this one. But I'm in a defeatist attitude right now. Come on, Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Alright, you know what? At least the Surging Sparks packs kind of, you know, took up two spots. <laughs> we can't complain too much about that, right? Got my variants, got two hits, bunch of hollows, and uh, I've got some sticker sheets that I can give to the kids and I'll find them stuck around all the, like the house and a bunch of weird and places that I'm going to have to repair the house with. Oh, well, you guys take it easy. I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one.